Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yuki once again giving you guys another Modebot tutorial for you. Today's tutorial we're going to be doing advanced moderation commands for your Mode server. Before we continue though, there is a giveaway I'm doing. In the description below, there is a link for you guys to a form on Google. Fill that out by December 22nd. And you'll be entered for a giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. Description below. Alright. Now let's go, before we go on to the good stuff, let's review our basic moderation commands from our original episode. If you guys want to watch the original episode, link will be in the description. And the card to your top right of your, card, of your screen. Of your screen. So to get to the settings, dollar sign settings. All right, now, we talked about in the original one, a few of these. Let's go ahead and talk about some of them now. Channel allow and channel deny. Channel allow and channel deny do the exact opposite of each other. Channel allow allows you to open up that command for that particular channel, for example, as you guys can see here, I have channel allow dollar sign mm. Mm allows you to to look at your harem. So dollar sign mm is open. However, you also see channel deny dollar sign mm. That means dollar sign mm cannot be used in this particular server. In excuse me, in this particular channel. Therefore, this chan this den this one is denied. But you also see different categories, channel allow, all mod, all games, all waifu, all poke slot, and all other. Basically it's saying I'm going to allow moderation commands, games, waifu commands, Pokemon slot commands, and other games like the 8 ball and all that good stuff. So that's for channel allow with the categories. You can also channel allow or channel deny any command within those categories should you wish to. For example, channel allow bytes to dust will allow you to open up bytes to dust to anybody in that channel. Be very careful though. That is a moderation command I would start to think about actually denying. Okay, but that's just an example. Next one I want to give you guys is bytes to dust. Bytes to dust recreum. So let's go ahead and take a look at that for a moment. And as you guys can see here, this is my actual server for the Moody game. If you guys want to join this server, go ahead and look in the description below. There is a link for you guys on that. All right. Now, recently, so actually, let me do it on my test server though. Because I don't want to do it there. We just reset the game. So bytes to dust. Oops. Resets the game. Meaning everybody loses their waifus and has bandos. Bytes to dust requiem. Spelled this way. Allows you to still reset the game. They still lose their characters. However, you actually allow you allow them to get Kakara based on their values. For example, as you can see in my server here, I have dollar sign I am and a character name, for example. And that is my current arm on my server. So I have four characters to play with. Okay. Ruka is 39 in terms of Kakara. So had I used Bytes to Dust Requiem today, I would have gotten actually 38, I should say not 39, 38 Kakara plus 38 Kakara, but I lose the character, okay? So you exchange the character for Kakara so you use Bytes to Dust Requiem. This is the command that I do not see used often though. It, it's actually a very cool addition to the game. All right? So that's bytes of dust and bytes of dust work real. Now I do want to go into the good stuff, the new stuff. And I'm actually going to be using this server, my server, for today's 
for today's example. So I have five five commands for you guys that's brand new for this episode. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Left users allows you to see how many people how how many people left the server and who might have might have so claims in their in their server in their in their server in their harem i highly i highly recommend this command though clean user and instead of id clean user left users this is really critical and here's why this command is like a Tano snap bites the dust only for those who left the server. Okay? So this would be nice to use. I want you guys to keep this one in mind because I have a tip for you guys on this one later on. So stay tuned. Self reset. Self reset. If we take a look at it, is another version of a Tano snap or bites the dust. The exception is it's yourself. That's it. That's the only exception. This only affects you here. And divorce all will be your your very own version of bites the dust. Okay. I would be very careful if you're going to use this though. I would I would highly use bytes the dust requiem if you're going to be doing something like this. If you're doing it on yourself because you're going to leave the server a good idea, okay? That's a that's actually a very good idea. Okay? And then you can use these other other commands if you like. Alright? The other command I want to teach you guys about is Toggle Snipe. Toggle Snipe allows you to change the rules a bit when it comes to claiming. Let me show you what I mean. Toggle Snipe allows you to change the rules. So right now in this server I have a chan I have a number two number two uh, Toggle Snipe. And I actually put it for 13 seconds. Here's what it does. Number two says, full restriction. Any character world cannot be sniped, can cannot be sniped for eight seconds. What does this mean? When a character is rolled, when you usually click the button to claim a character, because Toggle Snipe 2 is on. That character cannot be claimed just even if you click it on time. You have to count eight seconds in order to activate the claim. So everybody has to wait eight seconds. Then after eight seconds, the then you can start getting the character. This is a good rule if especially if you have character players in the server who have a lot of player characters that you like as well. So it gives you a chance before they get sniped to get them first. Okay? Other toggle snipe variants include number one. When someone rolls a character they have in their character wish list, this character cannot be sniped for eight seconds. Meaning, for example, I have Ruka here. Let's say I did not have her, and somebody did, and somebody did on their wish list. That means Luna, I mean, Ruka goes to them for eight seconds. They have to claim it. Otherwise, if they wait too long, then everybody can get her for themselves. I got her, so I'm good. Okay, so that's how this, that's how that goes. Okay. Some of them are combinations of different rules. For example, 
we have Toggle Snipe 6, which is a combined uh, restriction number two. So any character road cannot be signed for eight seconds, except for people wishing that character that roller can claim this character can claim this wish, except if they wish for it. So it's like a layer on layer rule. I would start if you're just beginning the game and you're just monitoring for the first time. I would actually start with Toggle Snipe 2. Toggle Snipe 2, I think, is going to be your best bet if you're a beginner at moderating the, the game yourself, okay? So think about that. But how do we get to the, eight, the 13 seconds part? So what you do is, Toggle Snipe, Toggle Snipe X, and then Space, and then a number, let's say file 2 or 22.5 this means whatever the rule is x1 to 6 then 22.4 seconds depending on which rule you select so toggle type 2 for example can now be 22.4 seconds you cannot claim before you have to wait okay but be nice to your players that's one of the things you need to do. Next one is Clean Self. Again, that is another version of Bites the Dust but for yourself. So I showed you Divorce All. Okay, I technically did not because I did not actually run it. Clean Self is exactly like Bites the Dust but only on yourself, okay? So I'm not going to demonstrate that today. But here's what else I want to review, badge values. So the Kakara can be used to buy badges. And if you select badge value, let's say gold, gold value, I'm actually going to do this on my other server here. I don't want to mess this one up. So I'm going to do gold, value and I'm gonna say 100 okay let's see what we got here oh actually the limit is 1000 the minimum is 1000 so dollar sign gold value 1000 so any of these you can run so you can change the value of that emerald oh, excuse me of the batch Keep in mind though, don't be too cheap with these badges though. Because once you start bidding cheap with these badges, a lot of people will get those rewards too quickly and you might not have control. So be very careful of using this particular command. By the way, it's only for level 1. Okay? For the moment, it's only for level 1. Because other levels will be indexed on the new value. Okay? So, now, that's it in terms of the advanced moderation commands. I want to go over some tips with you guys if you're going to use these, these interesting advanced commands. Number one, you have to set up a system where you can do a clean, clean users, left users at least every two to three months and the reason why I said that is because on my server originally there was a lot of users who left this particular server there was a lot of users who left so what happened is what happened is that I'm going to use clean users left users at least two to three times two months or three months before next time okay that's going to be useful especially if you want new players to get other characters so that's a good idea number two make sure it's okay with everyone with the rules of toggle sniping before you do anything what I did is I have an announcements channel here on the server I call it game news, I believe. Here we go. So I go to my game news server. 
me channel and then I'm gonna show you that I do my announcements here like a new tutorial what I'm going to change and all that good stuff I would highly recommend if you're going to do something like I'm doing right now get a game news channel and announce that you're going to start doing a toggle snipe rule okay so make sure you guys do that next tip for you guys is same thing with toggle sniping but for bites to dust bites to dust should be run at least once a year either requiem or bites to dust normal it's up to you but I would start thinking about it doing it at least once a year for my server because I'm actually doing two things if you guys do not know I do gaming as well I actually just added the Moody game to my gaming server, which is going to open soon, by the way. Let me show you that right now. So right here is my Moody, but for the gaming server. So you guys can do that as well. Now, remember, I do mine every gaming season. So right now we're about to head to the winter gaming season on Friday. So technically I should have done Bites to Dust on my server in a few days. However, we did one recently. Therefore, I do not need to do one again. At least until like February or something. So keep, get a system in play for Bites to Dust, either Requiem or Normal. Okay? Also, you should test Test, test, test your server rules and all that good stuff, especially toggle sniping. That one can get a little bit interesting when it comes to timing. I've already have a little bit of an issue with timing with the toggle snipe, but we just got it down recently. So I would start thinking about testing the toggle sniping rule, especially when it comes to claiming characters, okay? Now, on our next tutorial I have for you, I will have a little bit of information about the story mode of Waifu Arena. They just released it. So there is brand new stuff for you guys to learn. Okay? That's all for now. Enjoy the other tutorials I have for you right on the screen. And feel free to subscribe and like if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. It's Retro Yuki saying, have fun.